Hey everyone, we're going to talk about six hat thinking and this is just an idea about thinking. It's really a system that can help groups of people work together to think more effectively. So the guy behind it all is Edward de Bono. He's an author and a thinker and he designed six hat thinking. And his idea was that many groups have trouble making plans because people's ideas get in the way of each other and he wants to help organize this. The core idea is that there are different types of thinking and when we're in a group we have to be careful that we're all using the same kind of thinking. If different people are thinking differently then you can make life difficult for the group. So each hat in the six hat theory has a different colour to show a different kind of thinking. The green hat for example is used to help come up with new ideas. But let's just go through the hats in order that they're shown here. There's no special order for the hats, but still, the white hat. The white hat is used when we talk about facts. What are we certain about? So for example, I can't meet you till 7 p.m. There are no eggs left in the kitchen. I have $45 to go shopping with today. These are white hat statements. The red hat. Red Hat is used for talking about feelings and emotions. It's not something we do a lot of in science, but how you feel about something can sometimes be important in other areas. For example, I really enjoy eating strawberry ice cream. I don't like that idea. Or I'm really angry about what happened. These are all Red Hat sorts of statements. The Yellow Hat, which is used for talking about positive outcomes, good things that can happen out of this situation. So, for example, I think we'll get home early today. That's nice. Hey, save some of that cake, then we can have it tomorrow as well. Or, he said we will get extra money if we do this job. These are all Yellow Hat style statements. The green hat. And the green hat is for thinking about new ideas, looking for new solutions to the problem you're facing. So for example, what if we leave the car at home and go by bus? Or suppose we put you in the 400 meter race instead of the 200 meter race. Or I think this would be easier if we picked a subject first. These are all green hat type statements. And the blue hat is very much the most abstract hat. It's when you talk about your discussion process or indeed the whole process of your project. What's the best way to use the hats? Which hat should you use first? These are blue hat questions. What order are we going to use for the applications is another one. Or I'm not sure whether to start by tidying the clothes or the paper. So there's a practical blue hat question from when you might be tidying a room. And finally, the black hat, which is, as you might have guessed, for talking about problems. What's wrong with the plan? Have you overlooked anything? It's the opposite of the yellow hat, not, as you might think, the white hat. So examples of black hat statements. Hmm, I don't think we're going to have time to get to both places. What if Alex doesn't lend us the money like he said? If that bolt doesn't hold, you will fall to your death. These are all possible problems in some situation. Using the hats, uh, you need to know how to use the hats. It's just as important as knowing what they are. Everyone in the group must help the thought process move forward. Helpful if you have a leader to control the thought process. So you should get a leader, but more importantly, you should listen to that leader. So the person who's the best organizer should be the leader and their roles are, they will decide the goal of the meeting and do their best to make sure these goals are met. They will set the process, so they will decide, for example, which hat the group will use first, if you're using six hat thinking. And they should also be flexible. They can and should listen to advice from other team members, but they will have responsibility for the final decision. So running the meeting is a challenge for the leader, but it's the whole group that's responsible. Everyone must help the meeting get to its goal. Everyone should be on time. Everyone should stick to the point and don't get sidetracked by what you saw on TV last night. Everyone should try and say something constructive. You should get involved, try and contribute to the project. And then finally, everyone should be flexible. Getting the meeting to its goal will need give and take from the whole team and so all members of the group need to be ready to compromise.
You may ask, do you need hats? Edward de Bono is a very well-respected thinker, but six-hat thinking is not the only system you could use. There are other ways of organizing your thinking, but that's the key word, organizing. You don't have to use six-hat thinking, but if you don't, you should find another way to organize your process so that you can get as much out of your project as possible.